so we're going to do a quick video on proper ways how to chalk. Um, it's super bright here. Maybe we'll move it. We can just film Liam chalking. Liam, are you doing your chalking? Uh huh. Do I can get it? So Liam is doing an amazing job here chalking his bells, um, his plastic bells. So um, <laughs> I'll let you watch him for a second. If you don't know how to chalk, just watch my four-year-old. This is for you, TJ. Okay. So first off, if you have a new bell, you want to make sure that you uh, are sanding it pretty good before you get started because normally when you get a new bell, um, it's always gonna have a layer of varnish on it to keep it from resting when it's in the warehouse or whoever sells it. So, um, so Kettlebell Kings, uh, any of the other kettlebell companies, like it's all the same, like, well, it's not all the same, but they all put varnish on the handle of their bells. So um, I use this uh, 3M stretchy sandpaper uh, which you can get on Amazon or at Lowe's or any of your hardware stores but the nice thing about this is it never rips so you can sand around the bell on the angles and you don't have to worry about it um, it ripping because that drives me crazy so you're gonna want to sand off that varnish um, or if uh, like us we have our our kettlebell areas in a jiu-jitsu gym so there's always a lot of humidity um, so your bells will tend to start to rust a little bit and get a little bit rough so if they do that you can always just sand it off some of this also is like acid burn from the oil from your hands and not just necessarily rust so um, are you are you doing a good job chalking your bells they look very chalked yeah, why haven't you got the handle on this one there you go okay so can can we scoot over so mommy can do some of her chalk so, there's a couple different ways to chalk. Let me scoot your chalk down. Here, put it in. I'm trying to make some chalk on my kettlebell. You're trying to make some chalk on your kettlebells. Can you come sit on this side with mommy? No, come sit over here. So, there's a couple. Here, put your bells right there. There you go. Good job. There's a couple different ways to chalk. Um, I'm kind of a cheater normally in the fact that sometimes I'll use water, but um, it's up to you on how you want to do it. Okay, cool. Um, so you can use water. water um, sometimes I do if I'm in a hurry uh, I'm sure a lot of kettle people or not a lot, but some people to are totally against using water. no you definitely don't need water some people are totally against using water so the biggest thing of ensuring that the the chalk is gonna stick to the bells is one the warmer the bell is the easier it's gonna stick as well as is if there's any moisture in the air, it's gonna help it stick. Um, if there's moisture on your hands, it'll help it stick. So if it's start off, you're going to, I normally tip it to the side one way, and you're going to do hard, rough motions, grinding the chalk into the bell. So you'll have a tough time. You wanna make sure you have good chalk too. If the chalk is too soft, it will go on really well, but then it won't last on the bell. If the chalk's too hard, it won't, it's hard to get it to stick to the bell. Um, we use Viking chalk, there's lots of other chalks out there, but I found that Viking chalk has a really good consistency. Um, we've also used Quest chalk in the bat in the past, um, but Viking is the one we use now just because it's, it's a good mixture between hard and soft chalk. Uh, we've had some soft chalk before and it goes on like beautifully but when you're like five minutes into your set, like the chunk's already gone. So you're just gonna start putting it on in layers, rubbing it in different directions, forward to back. You wanna make sure you do this pretty firm because you, I mean, you're really grinding that chalk into that handle and trying to get it to stick. And slowly but surely, like it'll start to stick more and more. This is actually our bastard bell. 
don't know if I can say that on this. <laughs> this is the one kettlebell king's bell I have that's 20 kilogram. It actually says bastard bell on here. Um, that uh, is different from my I other kettlebell king's bell. So this is Ashley's hand, special snatching bell only oh, because we I only have one of these. On you don't need any water. We only have but one of I these kettlebell, newer style kettlebell king's bells in 20. So all the rest of them are the old style. So this is Ashley's special snatch only bell. She's special. So she gets her own bell. Um, anyway, so you just keep working that in, turning it different directions, different angles. So you get, because the pressure in your hand is really going through the palm and then through the tips of the fingers. So you want to kind of angle the bell Good job. You want to kind of angle the bell in each different direction so you can get a good chop going. Okay, so there's that. It's starting to build up pretty good now. So Ashley, maybe you need to use the 20s today. The 20. I do, I do have to do the 20. Okay, cool, because I'm talking. I appreciate it. I didn't realize it was this bell. So you just keep working that in and it'll slowly start to build up more and more until you get a nice layer of chalk. Building up like this does make the chalk last the longest than using water. Okay, so the other option is to use water. I'll use one of the other bells that I'm going to use later. Um, I'm going to take some of this chalk off just so you can see it. Uh, well, you have a plastic bell, so I don't think you can sand it. Mommy spells metal. My bell is metal. No, -uh, your bell is plastic. Okay, so generally if I'm going to use water, I don't spray the water directly onto the bell. I will spray my hands. I want to spray my hands. So I'll spray my hands, and then I'll rub my hands together, which they have rest on them. And then I will pick up chalk kind of move it around my hands and then I will go to the bell and then that just adds just enough fluid without like soaking the bell down need you need some water. water okay give me your show me your hand no I will do it okay rubbing your hand, hands together and that adds just enough um, moisture that um, the bell picks up the chuck really easy Now, we have a very humid facility, so we don't always have to use water, but like I said, if I'm trying to do it quickly, I will use water, or if I'm having trouble that day because it's really dry, sometimes I'll use water. I totally not against it. But you can see it chalks up really fast um, with that little bit of water. Now, you'll notice, which some people really like this, um, when you use water, the bell will get small, tiny bumps on it. Um, which some people like for better grip um, and then some people don't like it. Some people like it super smooth. So if you want it super smooth, don't use water. Some of the other ways to do it is that you can make liquid chalk by mixing equal parts of water and, or excuse me, Liam, quit. Equal parts of alcohol and alcohol. So we're going to have like paper mache glue here in a second. Alcohol and chalk. Just mix them up in a bottle and then you can pour that out and put that on the chalk. It dries really fast and you get a really thin layer of chalk. We've also done it where we do the, um, the um, liquid chalk. We'll chalk the bells initially with that and then we'll put regular chalk over it. And that works pretty good for chalking the bells also. Um, that's really the biggest thing is making sure you use enough pressure and, and it takes a lot of layers. To, and then having the right kind of chalk. Uh, if the chalk's really hard, you'll have a hard time getting it to stick. So, and if you don't sand off the varnish, it's not going to stick at all. So, let me know if you have any other questions. Hopefully that helps. I'm not an expert chalker. I normally try and have other people chalk my bill at the competition because, I mean, I can do okay. But um, some people like Brittany and, and Donovan, they are like really good chalkers. So, 